we have this table or oh, this database we created uh, in the previous uh, videos, but then in this just previous video, we created this table. Okay, so we have our database and we have our table here. Okay, so the tables are always under the databases. Okay, but the, with this database, we have decided that we don't want it anymore. Okay, so even the tables have columns. Okay, so these are the columns under the table. Okay, and watch my previous video to see how we created this table. But in this video, I'm going to drop the table or what we call delete. So we always say delete, but we're going to drop the table. You use delete if we want to um, get rid of a column. But in this case, we want to want to get rid of the entire table. Okay, so um, just for some exploration, we have a database here and under the database, we have table in another table, we have columns, okay? So we are going to get rid of the entire table. That's what we're going to do, okay? So instead of deleting, we are going to use drop, okay? By default, we have our master thing here. So that's the master database, okay? But notice that this table is under MSSQL class. So we are going to indicate by selecting MSSQL class, or what you can do is, you can use, okay, enter use, and then you indicate which database you want to use. And we want to use the MSS, and then it pops up. So I'm just going to select it because I'm lazy, okay? So now we move on to what we want to do. We want to drop the table, okay? We want to drop this table, okay? Drop actually, which means delete, okay? So we're going to type in DROP drop table. All right, now, what is the name of the table that we want to drop? We want to drop this table student info. So I'm going to type student info and then it pops up and then I select. Or what you can do is you can get rid of it. This one, let's, let's get rid of it and try. Okay, and then we're just going to take and drag this and put it here. That will work, okay? Or since I'm lazy, I will always type. So it will pop up and then I select, okay? So drop table. Uh, student info, that's the table we are going to drop. Okay? Now we highlight everything and then we click on the execute. Okay, So it says here, comments completed successfully. That means this table is there, but it's a ghost, it's already deleted. So we're going to show that it's truly or verify that it's truly deleted by you know, using the refresh button. Okay, so we use the refresh, okay. It's refreshed. Now let's go under this database, click on the database. Let's go tables. Okay, that table is gone. It's gone. Okay, it's gone. So that is how we delete a table. We use the drop table query to get rid of a table under a database.